Hi everybody, Laura here from My Favorite Things. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a couple of fun projects to share with you using some of the latest June release goodies. I'm gonna start with this gorgeous new Inward Elements stencil. I'm in love with the graphic design of it. First thing I'm gonna do is spray it down on one side with some of this Pixie Spray. And I've been out of this, been wanting to get it, finally got my hot little hands on it. I'm spraying it in a box so that the fumes and the spray doesn't go everywhere, although I think it actually went everywhere. But this temporarily adheres it down to your panel so it doesn't shift and slide. I have been known to be a bit of an aggressive blender, so when I have intricate stencils, I have a hard time keeping that stencil steady. And this Pixie Spray works like a charm. Although I will tell you, I was a little disappointed that it didn't have a better smell because I like to sniff some fumes now and again. Now, I'm just joking, but not really. I like the smell of glue, turpentine, gasoline, and all those, you know, lovely smells. And the Pixie, glue, or Pixie Spray just didn't really, didn't really do it for me. It didn't have much of a smell at all. So that was a little disappointing, but it does hold the stencil down works like a charm. I am ink blending with my favorite quartet of cool tone distress inks. I have Twisted Citron, Cracked Pistachio, Mermaid Lagoon, and Blueprint Sketch around the edge. Now I do have my panel cut to a standard A2 card size, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And I will trim it down about a half inch. So a quarter of an inch on each side. So um, I always allow for extra room because I like to have a nice white border when I pop it up on a white card base. So this first panel is finished and it was so easy to do. I almost feel guilty and look at the results. I mean, they're just gorgeous. I'm gonna do one more panel, kind of kick it up a notch. I'm spraying it down again with the Pixie Spray. It had a little stick still left on it, but I wanna make sure that I had that thing anchored down. This one is gonna be a little bit more intricate, a little more effort put in, but papau results, if I do say so myself. So each little angle, or whatever you wanna call it, I'm masking off, and of course I'm going in rainbow order. <laughs> you know me. You could customize this any way you wanna do it. Right now, I am just using some scrap, scraps of cardstock that were kicking around my table, and I'm kinda of holding them down. Uh, as I move along, I realize this wasn't the best option, but when you're using small spaces, you can kind of hold those little pieces of cardstock to mask off your V, and it worked for a while, but then after a while, they start shifting and sliding because the V gets wide and my hand's only so big. I need three hands is what I need. So the colors that I've used so far are candied apple, spice marmalade, a little mustard seed. Right now, I'm using squeezed lemonade, and here's where I just give up and pull out the old post-it tape. I don't know why I waited because post-it tape and me were best friends. Here's my two most used craft supplies. And this is the honest truth. It's been from day one, post-it tape and foam tape. I like to post it tape everything and I like to pop up everything with foam tape. And uh, you know, my work desk gets just so messy and I try to clean it after each card or you know session craft session when i start again i like to have somewhat of a clean area and i like to put everything away in drawers but one thing that i never put away guess what it is my good old trusty teflon bone folder i never put it away and i put everything away in the drawers but i do not put away the Teflon bone folder. I leave it right on my grid mat. No matter how clean my craft desk is, I like to see it sitting there. It just makes me feel safe. <laughs> and you know, I've thought many times about ordering a couple extra ones just as a security measure because I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have it. But I'm blabbing away while I'm ink blending all these little V's. As you can see, it comes together. You get in the masking zone and you just work your way uh, in rainbow order. So I gotta tell you this. Uh, some of you know from past videos, been talking about how we've been trying to get our oldest daughter here from America, fly her over, but it's so hard with the flights getting canceled with Corona and borders shut down and all that. Well, we finally got her here. She's been here a couple of days and guess what she surprised? She, I did not ask her to do this, completely surprised me. She brought me a big mama roll of scotch foam tape. I was just, I was skipping around the apartment. I couldn't believe that she did that on her own. 
She really surprised me and uh, she knows the way to my heart, that's for sure. So now I'm gonna start turning these fun backgrounds into cards. So I started with this Baby Shark Dynamics die set and I'm die cutting all the pieces to put the shark together. Uh, the little pink part is gonna be like the background of his mouth, so to speak. And I'm using some Gina K Connect glue to adhere some of the parts down. These are the little eyeballs. I'm using that Studio Katia embellishment wand. And then for the mouth, I put a little bit of glue on the back of the mouth and adhered the top teeth down. And then I'll flip it over again and adhere the bottom row of teeth. This is the cutest little shark. And then once I get the teeth adhered, I flip it over, put some foam tape and then pop it up on the face. So it has a bit of dimension. And then I'll assemble this card. I trimmed down that blended panel, popped it up on a white card base, pop up my shark. And now for the sentiment, I'm using the Sharky Sentiments stamp set, which have a lot of great sentiments for different occasions. I chose this Your Fantastic and embossed it in white onto a strip of black cardstock, trimmed it out, popped it up below the shark, and I'm taking a white gel pen and adding some tiny little white dots to the shark's eyes. I think it just adds something, something. And then for embellishment, a few little clear droplets here and there, and this card is finished. I think this would make the best masculine card for a boy or a guy, but I think it could go for a girl too. Now, card number two, I'm using this new Positively Peppy Penance stamp set. Uh, that's a tongue twister. I've probably done this take a, a few times. But it's like Peter Piper picked a peck of Positively Peppy Penance. Say that three times fast. So I'm embossing three of the sentiments in white onto the solid color cardstock strips. I chose way to go, you did it. So each one's gonna get embossed in white and all the sentiments are angled perfectly sized to fit inside a pennant. It's very peppy. I, for one, am a huge fan of all the peppy products. I like pep. I like school spirit. Fun fact about me that you probably don't know, probably don't care. I actually was a cheerleader in grade school, high school, and even in college. But I wasn't like, you know, the kind you see in the movies, you know, the, the snotty little clicky cheer. I was the kind that I would do cheer half the game, then go change my uniform into the band, the marching band uniform, do the halftime show with my trombone, and then go change again, finish the game. So it was a unique blend. I don't think I would recommend it. I don't know why the school didn't let me do it, but... I was peppy, all right. Now I'm stamping the penance, and this time I'm using Versamark ink, the same ink that I used to emboss the sentiments I used to stamp the penance. And that gives you just that shade darker, so it's there, but it's like, you know, same color, tone on tone. I'm gonna start assembling this card. I'm popping up this ink blended panel. There's a lot of peas going on in this video. Popping up the panel popping up the positively peppy penance, and it says, way to go, you did it. Now to finish it off, I'm adding a few little sparkling clear sequins that here and there, just to zhuzh it up. Not that you need to zhuzh, but you can never go wrong with the zhuzh. And this card is finished. I hope you enjoyed this video showcasing a few of the new June release goodies with my favorite things. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.